guys, today I will show you 5 tips of Magnum Blood Warband that will help you to improve your chapter and make your game way easier. So first and the most important one at the beginning of the game is money making. And one of the way is trading. Uh, as you see you need to go to one of the Colradia towns and press uh, assessing price button and check you see in Jalcala you can make uh -huh, good profit from smoked fish buying it in Jalcala and go and sell it in Ahmara. so we will buy all smoked fish of uh, Jalcala and bring it to Ahmarat. so yeah as you can see uh, we spent 556 dinars and let's go to Akhmarat to sell it. So basically you're working as a merchant and doing it for a while you can make a good silver and uh, create a huge army of money that you make from buying good and selling it in other towns. So you can see that we are Ahmed right now and uh, we sold all of uh, smoked fish and we made 1700 dinars. Uh, we can see that even good merchants of Ahmed don't have enough money to pay for us. So I need to buy some other stuff from him. And voila, you can see one race and uh, made a lot of money of buying uh, goods and selling it in other towns for a while. So the second and the most fastest option how to make money in Mountain Bell Warband is attacking an outlaws and selling them for ransom broker. Uh, they, they are paying highest price for a uh, sea rider so we need to go to the marketplace and buy a blunt weapon for you. Because if you will attack uh, outlaws with sword or with eggs, you're gonna kill them and then you don't make any profit uh, from, <clears throat> from your battles. Uh, so, for example, let's take this mech and let's go for hunting. Uh, so, as I said, they pay the highest price for our sea riders. And we can see this party have a lot of prisoners, so we can recruit them to our party after we beat sea riders. Uh, well, but you don't need to forget that Sea Riders also are strongest from all of the outlaws. So, better recruit more troops to a party. And let's check around. Okay, I like this weapon. As you can see, you can even do a one hit KO <laughs> with this mech. And uh, you can see that uh, all of Sea Riders are falling knocked unconscious. Instead of killing them. Okay, it's a lot of them. You can see what tactic I am using. Uh, my party is charging and I am running around the enemy with my horse. So they found with me, not my troops. And after I scatter the troops, my man is killing them. Oh damn, what a good hit. Yeah, so we beat that Sea Riders party and look what we have. We have nine wounded Sea Riders. So we need to capture them and go to sell them for a Ransom Broker. You can find Ransom Brokers in, in towns, uh, taverns, taverns of the towns. And you can see that uh, they are paying highest price for Sea Riders. It's 112 dinars. Uh, no other outlaw. Uh, type is so expensive uh. yeah so the third option is tournaments and uh, you can ask for a tournament master in arena where the soonest tournament will be held in which town of Colorado so we can see that the tournament is going to be held in Uxhall and Suno so we pick up Suno and enjoy the tournament uh, you need to place the maximum sum on the bets before every uh, every tier in tournament and make sure that you are good enough to win tournaments because there can be uh, tough situations during the fights 
Well, for example, two or three opponents gonna attack you, and it's gonna be hard to beat them. But for after a while of some practices, uh, you can win the tournament easily, like I do in this game. And uh, oh, also, if you lost one of the tours. Uh, you would lose all the money that you are betting. Well, it's like in casino, like a real bet. But risk is a risk, and you need to take it if you want to make a huge money in the beginning of the game. So we can see we can win a high sum right now after several tiers. Last year. Yay, victory! Okay, so let's see how much money we just made. Oh, yeah, more than 4,000 dinners. That's good. So, the second tip is party skills and companions. The uh, best advice for you is to concentrate to few of your own skills. Well, best are these that are given for you at the beginning of the game and keep others in zero. Uh, like for example, you can see pathfinding, uh, spotting for me is in a high level, but surgery or first aid and engineering is at zero. It is because of one reason, companions. Now check this out. Uh, as you can see, Artemener has high uh, engineering skills. Uh, tactics uh, <clears throat> which uh, compensate my uh, skills that are at zero. Emira, as you can, you can see, has uh, a high surgery, first aid, and wound treatment skills. Uh, so make sure that you differentiate all the skills between you and your companions. And now as you can see in part skill section, we have a very good diversification of uh, part skills. And uh, also, don't forget your personal skills. Uh, most important of them is persuasion. It will be very useful for you in the future when you seek to become a king.